The roads of Mecklenburg Western Pomerania are characterized by a multitude of picturesque tree-lined avenues. It is one of the federal states with the highest number of such avenues. About 40% of the federal and state roads are lined with one or two-sided rows of trees. That alone makes 2,100 kilometers. These avenues are a tourist trademark of Mecklenburg Western Pomerania. They enjoy special protection, especially from the aspect of nature and landscape conservation. Although at first glance, avenues are perceived as part of nature, avenue trees are usually located on the property, belonging to the road itself and are therefore considered to be part of the road. For this reason, the road construction authorities are also responsible for the trees along the road. The road administration of Mecklenburg Western Pomerania has around 245,000 road trees in its inventory. The task of the road administration is to maintain and further develop a safe and efficient road network. At the same time, there is also the task of managing and designing this network in accordance with the landscape and the responsible nature conservation authorities. The avenue in Mecklenburg Western Pomerania is of great importance as a design element. Traffic safety plays a special role in the design of roads with trees, as they are fixed obstacles that often lead to particularly serious accidents when vehicles leave the roadway. Depending on the function of the respective road, measures and concepts have to be found that do justice to both tasks, the protection of avenues and road safety. Many roads are therefore already equipped with crash barriers. This results in additional maintenance costs and, in some cases, limited winter services. Due to the significantly improved accident protection, crash barriers will continue to be retrofitted, especially in areas with a great number of accidents. The location of the avenue tree does not correspond to the natural living conditions of trees. The result is impaired growth and health. The closer the tree is to the edge of the road, the greater the risk of the tree being damaged by collision, by pollutants from vehicle traffic, by de-icing salts used by winter services and by a lack of nutrients due to roadside sealing and soil compaction. But there are also conflicts at the arable site. Unfortunately, as a result of cultivation close to the road trees, Branches are often damaged and both strong and weak roots are torn out during plowing. In addition to the problems and conflicts associated with the road as an extreme location, the increasing incidence of tree diseases, such as the death of ash tree shoots, can lead to damage and even the loss of entire sections of avenues, as this example of an ash tree avenue near Lötz shows before and after the infestation. One of the main tasks of the road administration is to ensure the road safety. For this reason, the Road Construction Authority carries out regular tree inspections. These are carried out by qualified employees of the road maintenance departments, the so-called tree wardens. As a rule, the inspection cycles of a road tree depend on its age and condition. Old trees, for example, must be inspected at least once a year. The day and the result of the check as well as the further procedure are documented in a database. Digital recording devices are used for this purpose. The data collected can also be used to effectively plan the necessary tree maintenance work such as the removal of dead wood and clearance cutting. The tree database is continuously updated by promptly entering the necessary age and construction related felling and new plantings. Each avenue tree has a number that is visibly attached to the tree, thus enabling individual data collection for each tree.
Trees with special problems are examined in detail by experts in order to perform care specifically adapted to each tree. For documentation purposes, the Road Construction Administration of Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania has recorded the entire road tree stock of federal and state roads in an electronic database, the so-called FISA program. The system also enables camera movements through the avenue trees. A special module for 360-degree panoramic views can also be used at any point at the road network. Since 1996, the Road Construction Administration has been carrying out a balancing of the number of felling and planting quantities for the representation of the avenue protection. The FISA data can also be used to determine the length of the avenues and tree series. A statistics module programmed according to the avenue definition calculates section lengths and quantities from the road access related tree data. As of 2017, a total of approximately 245,000 road trees lined the federal and state roads in Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania. Approximately 90% of these trees are defined as avenues or one-sided tree rows. 44% of this stock was replanted after 1990. Avenues are subject to constant change. The Road Administration of Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania pursues a coordinated strategy in the development of avenues in order to create large continuous new planting sections. The planning period reaches far into the future. As this visualization on the L13 south of Bad Doberan shows, the avenue planning must take into account the development of trees over the coming centuries. Far-reaching concepts and programs for individual road construction offices and even the entire federal state have already been drawn up. By implementing the Nationwide Avenue Development Program, it was possible to control the planting of many thousands of trees on suitable stretches of road. Among other things, the so-called measurement profiles are used, which contain a number of important planning parameters. The current avenue protection program for the German Avenue Road is aimed at securing and developing the avenues along this important tourist route. The methodology from this pilot project can subsequently be transferred to other routes in the country. For the sustainable planting of trees at a sufficient distance from the road and adjacent arable land, additional areas must often be acquired in addition to the existing road property. Due to the general progress in land consumption by industry, settlements and transport and the associated shortage of agricultural land, coordinated land management for tree plantations is necessary. During detailed planning, measurements and surveys of the pipeline stock are carried out and land acquisition and planting plans are drawn up. FISA, the expert information system, makes it possible to follow the development of avenues. The program has functions to switch between previous and current inspections. Several time periods can thus be compared with each other. Using the example of the L261 northwest of Lötz, the transformation of an almost treeless route into an avenue development route can be reconstructed, which comprises a total of 1000 trees over more than 8 kilometers. Remains of the old avenue can easily be integrated into the new planting.
construction measures in old avenues at the end of their remaining service life can trigger conversion and rejuvenation of the avenue tree population. Storm damage and traffic safety measures cost more than 10 tree losses per year in this section of the L271. In the course of the conversion work, a 3.5 meter wide additional area was created to allow the young trees to be planted a sufficient distance apart. This made it possible to create good site conditions for the young trees a sufficient distance apart. According to the guideline for passive protection on roads by vehicle restraint systems, the so-called RPS, all new plantings along state and federal roads throughout Germany, must be equipped with crash barriers. During the conversion of the B104 between Tetero and Neupansdorf, special attention was paid to the creation of new avenues. The cross-section of the road and additional areas were aligned to create a three-row avenue. The pruning carried out enables a crown development, adapted to the clearance profile of the road and the cycle path. Therefore, when referring to young trees, we speak of a temporary crown. The later removal of strong branches is thus avoided. If we continue to drive into the town of Tetero, we can see that the B104 is lined by a lime tree avenue, planted at the beginning of the year 2000. This avenue has already attained a townscape-defining character. To improve the development of the root area, the young trees were given root bridges in the adjacent pavement. The Yamen Bypass, built in the 1990s as a part of the B110, was planted with avenue trees right from the start. The replacement planting of trees can be done in the existing alignment behind the crash barrier. Meanwhile, the trees at the bypass convey a picture of a closed avenue. Let us now enjoy a ride through a new cycling path avenue along the official German Avenue roadway near the small town of Malchin. The road administration makes great efforts to maintain the road tree population. These measures on the trees are carried out by skilled personnel or qualified specialist companies. The maintenance effort for the numerously planted young trees is considerable. The aim here is to prevent the development in the crown that will later have a negative impact on traffic safety and to do so in a way that protects the trees. The pruning measures for young trees up to the 20th year after planting should be carried out at regular intervals of 2 to 3 years. A base of the treetop at a height of 4.5 meters above the roadway must be successively developed for the clear space of the road. In addition, trees must be watered regularly in the first 5 years after planting. After development care, the crown, trunk and root area must continue to be cared for and protected from damage in order to maintain the tree and traffic safety over the long term. For this purpose, cutting measures to maintain the roadside clearance profile and the removal of dead wood are required on an ongoing basis. Regular crown care through early pruning, especially of the fine and weak branch areas, prevents undesirable developments and promotes the development of healthy and roadworthy trees. The various activities in the field of avenue protection and development find their way into the public relations work of the Road Construction Administration of Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania. This includes lectures at symposia such as the Avenue Conference of the BUND, the German Federation for the Environment and Nature Conservation, as well as guided tours through the avenues together with BUND for international delegations within the European Life Project. The website of the State Office for Road Construction and Transport in Mecklenburg-Western Pomerania provides information on the avenues along the state's main road network.
as well as other environmental protection topics. Every citizen can use the interactive avenue map to look up information on each individual tree in an avenue. For tourists, there is an additional map showing avenues along federal and state roads that are particularly worth seeing. In this way, visitors to Mecklenburg Western Pomerania can inform themselves about the diversity of avenues throughout the state. Avenues are an important link between road and nature. The diverse avenue landscape, which has grown over centuries, is being further developed and should be preserved for future generations. The Road Administration of Mecklenburg Western Pomerania and the German Federation for the Environment and Nature Conservation, BUND, make their contribution to this legacy.